It was a typical summer evening in Arlington, Texas on Friday, July 19, 2013. Six Flags Over Texas was buzzing with excitement as visitors flocked to the park to enjoy its thrilling attractions. Among the rides, the new Texas giant stood tall, drawing adrenaline seekers from far and wide. Little did anyone know that this evening would take a tragic turn. Six Flags Over Texas first opened its gates on August 1, 1961, and quickly became a popular destination for thrill-seekers and families alike. Spanning over 200 acres, the park offers a wide range of exhilarating rides, captivating shows, and exciting attractions. As one of the original Six Flags parks, it holds a special place in amusement park history. It features a diverse selection of roller coasters, including iconic attractions like the Texas Giant, Titan, and Shockwave. Beyond roller coasters, visitors can enjoy water rides, live entertainment, family-friendly attractions, and delicious dining options. The new Texas Giant was no ordinary roller coaster. It was a hybrid creation, born out of the renovation of the original Texas Giant, which had held the title of the world's tallest wooden coaster in the 1990s. Rocky Mountain Construction took on the challenge of revamping the ride, replacing the wooden track with smooth steel track, and installing brand new trains designed by Gerslauer. As the ride opened to the public in 2011, it received widespread praise for its exhilarating layout and improved ride experience. The trains featured T-bar style restraints, reminiscent of some intimate roller coasters, and lap bars with shin guards for added safety. Six Flags played a significant role in the design process, emphasizing their preference for no seat belts and relying on seat sensors to ensure secure restraints. On that fateful evening, as the sun began to set, a larger female rider boarded the new Texas giant with her family members. The attendants diligently checked the restraints, but an attendant expressed concern about the height of the rider's lap bar. However, the seat sensor indicator light indicated that it was properly secured. Following standard procedures, the ride dispatched with the control system indicating all restraints were down and locked. As the coaster ascended its first hill, tragedy struck. The atmosphere was filled with excitement and anticipation as riders eagerly awaited the thrilling experience ahead. However, in a sudden turn of events, the safety measures failed for one unfortunate female rider. She became unsecured from her restraint and was thrown forward, a moment of sheer terror for both her and the witnesses on the ride. Witnesses recall the horrifying sight of the rider being flipped upside down, her legs suspended in the air as she desperately tried to cling to the ride. But the force was too strong, and she was unable to hold herself in place. As the coaster completed its first overbank turn, she was tragically ejected from the train, hurtling through the air with unimaginable speed. The fall was devastating. The rider plummeted approximately 75 feet, colliding with multiple supports along the way. The impact was jarring, causing immeasurable harm as her body made contact with the unforgiving structures. The harrowing descent finally came to an end as she landed on the hard surface of the ride's second tunnel, forever altering the lives of those involved. The shocked riders immediately informed the operators upon returning to the station. The ride was promptly shut down, and an investigation commenced to determine the cause of the accident. The police report revealed that maintenance records were up to date, debunking any claims of negligence on Six Flags' part. The investigation, however, did not definitively identify the sole cause of the accident. Legal battles ensued, with the victim's family filing a lawsuit against Six Flags, claiming improper maintenance and faulty seat sensors. Gerslauer, on the other hand, pointed fingers at Six Flags for insufficient training and lack of safety instructions in Spanish. Ultimately, a settlement was reached between Six Flags and Gerslauer, with the exact amount undisclosed. Following the accident, safety measures were heightened at the new Texas Giant. Test seats were made available for guests, and improved signage demonstrated proper lap bar security. Additional padding, seat belts, and shin guards were implemented to enhance rider safety. Iron Rattler, a similar ride at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, also underwent inspections and received modifications to its restraints. New Texas Giant eventually reopened, and since the accident, it has operated safely without any major incidents. The lessons learned from this tragedy have led to improved restraint designs and stricter safety protocols. Rocky Mountain Construction, in collaboration with Six Flags, continued to create thrilling roller coasters, prioritizing rider safety with their newer trains. Today, 
the legacy of the new Texas giant accident serves as a reminder of the importance of maintaining and enhancing safety standards in amusement parks. While the cause of the accident may remain officially undisclosed, efforts within the industry have been made to prevent similar incidents from occurring. The new Texas giant tragedy has left a lasting impact on the amusement park industry, prompting stricter regulations and a renewed commitment to rider safety. In the years following the accident, Rocky Mountain Construction has solidified its position as a leading roller coaster manufacturer. Their innovative designs and commitment to safety have garnered praise and trust from amusement park enthusiasts worldwide. With their coaster installations increasing in number, the industry has embraced their advanced restraint systems and rigorous safety protocols. As for Six Flags, the new Texas Giant incident served as a wake-up call. The park chain implemented comprehensive safety reviews and made significant changes to their ride operations and maintenance procedures. They collaborated closely with manufacturers to ensure the highest standards of safety and regularly train their employees to identify and address any potential issues. The accident also shed light on the importance of effective communication and inclusivity in amusement parks. Six Flags recognized the need for clear safety instructions in different languages to cater to a diverse range of visitors. They prioritized accessibility and improved their efforts to provide multilingual instructions and assistance, ensuring that language barriers would not compromise guest safety. Public awareness and scrutiny surrounding amusement park safety have increased significantly since the new Texas giant accident. Park visitors now have a better understanding of the importance of proper restraint usage and the role they play in ensuring a safe ride experience. The incident prompted individuals and families to be more vigilant and responsible, actively participating in their own safety by adhering to ride instructions and reporting any concerns to park staff. The legacy of the new Texas giant accident remains bittersweet. While it serves as a reminder of the tragic consequences that can occur when safety measures falter, it also symbolizes the industry's commitment to continuous improvement and dedication to guest well-being. Parks and manufacturers have united in their efforts to create thrilling yet safe experiences, ensuring that guests can enjoy the excitement of roller coasters with peace of mind. As amusement parks evolve, the story of the new Texas giant will forever be etched in their history a tale that inspires a relentless pursuit of innovation, safety, and the utmost care for every visitor who seeks a thrilling adventure. It stands as a testament to the resilience and unwavering commitment of the industry to learn, adapt, and prioritize the well-being of its guests. Thank you for watching this video about the new Texas giant roller coaster accident. Safety is paramount in amusement parks, and it's important to prioritize it during your visits. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to our channel for more engaging content. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Thank you for being a part of our community. See you in the next video.